All right, so I've been I've been meaning to do this prediction video for like two days, and then I got to it uh, this morning, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do these videos because I did the fair, my fairy tale prediction video first, for the next chapter under Gears Quest, and I did that one, and I was I was enjoying talking about it. It's a, it's gonna be a lot like that video is longer than this one. I think that one's like 14 minutes. I'm I'm gonna aim this one to be like seven or something, um, but. When I was talking about that one, I was enjoying just the ideas of what I was, you know, to trying to figure out what's going to happen, like just tossing ideas out there and like my base root of idea, like what I what I want primarily overall. Uh, like, but at the same time, like the previous chapter left off so vaguely and it's in a weird position. Where you, like even if you don't read the series, like uh, some people that they hear this, you know, listen to this one that read 100 Years Quest will understand. But if you don't, just know it's. It left off on an idea that you can't... It's really difficult to try and gauge what's going to happen next chapter. So, at the end of it, I was like, man, I really want to actually talk about a chapter that I can give, like, oh, because of the previous chapters, this is what I think is going to happen next. Like, instead of it just being generally what I hope to happen next, this chapter is what I think is going to... What I think is going to happen next. So, so far in the this whole up like like the opening to this big battle of the spade invasion of the spade kingdom, we had Marileona, uh, you know, and Charlotte all go off, and I believe that this is just going to be like the opening portion of letting the Clover Kingdom and anyone on their side have like big spotlight moments because once the Dark Triad starts to you know really go off, get crazy, I don't see the clover being at this much an advantage like there's no way xenon is down from you know's attack there's no way that megicula and vonica are sealed inside of uh inside of the briars that charlotte made um and on top of that like she, she like i can mess with curses but i i feel like megicula should be able just to overpower it like put way more curse than the the, the plants could take kind of like if you overwatered a flower i'm just guessing just because it would, it, I feel like it would be kind of a bad story choice to, to make it so it's unlimited. Because then it's like she instantly beats, uh, she instantly beats Megacula. But she has her blood magic too, so she should should be able just to bust out of there. And then with Dante and Noct, I felt like the the reason I I, I didn't put Noct in here is very specific. So with Yuno and Langris, I wouldn't have been surprised if we got a little bit more Langris. Like just looking back on it. Uh, prior to actually reading the chapter or thinking about them going in sim i thought langris would have gotten a little bit more spotlight but it made sense to give it more to you know because of obviously he being there when xenon attacked the golden dawn and nearly killed you know and bell was obviously pissed off too um they take it they took it way more personal like asa is upset with yami but none of his none of the black bulls you know were killed in that so they're a rescue mission versus a rescue mission and revenge for you know killing half their squad so because even though we don't know the you know some of these golden dawn members you have to keep in mind from Yuna's perspective in the story he knows them like it's weird to think about because obviously we're looking at it from a reader's perspective but like if you teleported in the world uh, if you asked you know he would know things that we don't know about like oh he'd probably be like oh haman haman is uh able to do three backflips like consecutively or something some just like we would never find that out but okay cool or, or just maybe like personal stuff or like um like maybe they hung out more between some of the members of the golden dawn off screen you know those kind of things because we do know that they got closer but with charlotte and uh, Rill, I figured that was going to be like two thirds Charlotte, one third Rill. Because obviously, when you look at Yuno and Langris, Yuno's the stronger one, clearly. Not only could you have guessed that prior, but we had that anime battle of uh, of Langris trying to fight Yuno, and you, this was a weaker Yuno, and Yuno was clearly better. Um, and then Charlotte and Rill, like, Rill is strong, but Charlotte is clearly much more powerful, and obviously. Bonica's way above real but it was like it was like nine tenths charlotte one tenth real like real got that nice double page but like that's all he did he mostly just set up something which i still give him credit for i actually am really hoping that tabata does uh continue that whole bit when uh he laid out all the you know the the water and the mud that made it better for charlotte's briars to grow I, I still think that's a really cool idea for his powers, just because the painting aspect, if he can kind of build a terrain that would benefit whoever he's with, or build a terrain that would benefit him. 
Like, I'm imagining if he made, like, a monozone, but, like, if his monozone was kind of like, uh, Nox, where it's, like, this big combo attack. Like, it's not like Yami's with Black Moon. I I'm just imagining he uses monozone, and it'd be, like, a canvas. It would look like a canvas to him. It'd be... I think it would be cool if his was square instead of a bubble. But, um... Or, I guess, rectangular. Or just... I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Or if it was like he had... Actually, I think it'd be really cool if he had, like, a canvas and then, like, he could do something on the canvas and it would happen in his monozone. That'd be pretty sick. But, um... With Noct and Jack, the, the important thing is, looking at, you know, and Langris, like I said, if he Langris had more going on in that chapter, I wouldn't have been surprised because, you know, like, you know, had more personal reasons why it was going to be a primary, you know, chapter. But Langris doesn't have, like, a lot of... Uh, he doesn't have as nearly as many, like, displays and moments in the manga as you know. So I would have been fine with giving Langarus a little bit more spotlight. Um, and I thought that would have been... That's why I thought it was going to be, like, a third Rill. Because Rill doesn't have a whole lot, too. And, but Charlotte has not had much at all prior to this. Like, there's some little extra bits in the anime. But Charlotte... Charlotte really ha hadn't done a whole lot in the series, total. And then looking at the next chapter, the thing is... Think about this. Because this is the reason why I didn't put Noct on here at all, and I didn't want to put Noct on here at all, is because Jack has been in the series since the start. Jack has been there since chapter one. He's you know he's one of the captains that came back with Julius during that little opening portion, uh, like in chapter one of them returning. But um, Jack has been in the series that long, and we haven't really seen much of him. Like, well, the first time I think we really saw Jack was. Uh, what, like, the, the cave arc, and then when Goldry was running away, and then we didn't really get Jack again until his, uh, the, the Elf Resurrection arc, when we found out what his magic did. Because that's also one of the things, prior to the Elf Resurrection arc, I'm already at seven minutes, hopefully I can get this done before ten. Uh, prior to the Elf Resurrection arc, we didn't know what Jack's magic did besides slashing. But that was so basic, really, because when you think about it, like, look at Charlotte's magic prior to the, uh, the whole aspect of being able to counter curses. She just had thorns, and she, you know, she had a, a pretty good melee attack with some good AoE, and you know, the the whole aspect of her being able to kind of use it almost like a whip too. But uh, look at like Yami. Yami had Dimension Slash, Black, uh, you know, uh, Black Hole. Um, it, it just prior to now, prior to time skip. Just looking at Yami's abilities, uh, and I'm just looking at kind of the special hacks and extra abilities, and then you look at like Nozel. Nozel's got Mercury Poison, Fuego. Uh, he's got Salamander. He's got overwhelming firepower, and he could burn magic. Not as high as Marileona, but Marileona again, another one burn magic. Even if Rills isn't at like uh, Rill doesn't have a hacks, but Rill has high utility. He has a very high utility. Dorothy hacks and high utility, but Noct has only been in for like. Well, what are we at? This is chapter 278. What chapter did, like, knocked? We got knocked, in, like, fully introduced somewhere in the early 260s. I don't remember the exact chapter number, but it was, like, 262 or something. And he already had, like, we already saw a demonstration of his magic when we first kind of got him teased. We saw, um, you know, he's got the four devils. We already got one of the devil abilities. The only thing that I, I always, he's got monozone and a monozone spell. Like, he's got a lot. The only thing that I would want from Noct in the next chapter is whatever his current, like, whatever devil he's going to use in this fight. I, I'd like to know the ability. That's it. Like, kind of like what Rill had. That and then some support. Because I like Noct, but if if Tabata came up to me and said, hey, I want you to decide who gets the spotlight next chapter. Jack or Noct? I'm going to say Jack. Easily. Because we don't have, we, we've already got, like, a good showing of Noct already, and we're going to get more in the future. But Jack, we haven't really had much of like jack has like three spells and none of them are that special like jack's is more in the found like the base aspect of his, the adapting of his blades so i'm fine with that i'm just hoping like if he doesn't have a new form it's like a new blade like i'm imagining him either with like multiple blades down the arms or if he's got like um a gigantic blade, kind of like how uh, Gajil from Fairy Tale, how he can, uh, like, you know, his secret art, he slams his fist together and then makes a gigantic sword, like just some big, huge cleave. Because that'd be kind of sick if Jack could do something like, like a Black Divider type beat that, um, I don't think that, I, I like how I said, I think that's the first time I've ever said tight beat. I, I'm hanging out with Josuke and Quan too much, as impossible or too nice. Um, but, um, 
Jack, I, I, I really want to just get a general display of him. I, I'm already at 10 minutes. It, it, but luckily, this is the wrap-up. Because Jack, just general... I want to see him go off in the next chapter. I, I, new blades. A new form. Um, maybe some new uh, styles to attack. That's, that is something you could easily do without even having to kind of... Uh, it would be so beneficial to him without even getting, like, some crazy new thing. Like, imagine... Um, I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head. Like, Kometsu no Yaiba had... Um, Kokoshibo, the top, uh, the upper moon one, and I won't spoil anything for anybody who's like an anime only or like hasn't read it yet. But his, I won't go into detail, but like his attacks, he can make like crescent shapes, like he could slash and it would be like a crescent moon, and then do a bunch of different techniques like that. Like what if Jack could uh, maybe like do a slash and then instead of it just being straight, he could do like patterns. Like, he does, like, a slash, and it makes five slashes go out in different directions. Or if it um, if it got bigger as it went, or if it got faster as it went, or if he could um, maybe do some form of combo attack, kind of like how Mary Leone has Calidus Brachian Barrage. Like, imagine he just does, like, his thing, massive reinforcement magic, and he's not doing, like, oh, I've got some crazy attack, uh, some big attack. Let's imagine if he's just super fast, jumping all over the room, doing the slash, 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 all, like, one after another, and it's just boxing Dante in. And obviously, like, Dante isn't gonna lose to Jack, but Dante has a lot, and, like, a lot of stuff, too. We don't need to really see anything from Dante to, imp like, uh, of, like, power-wise. He has a ton of spells, and... His character, I think his character development stuff, like his progression as Dante, you know, leader of the, uh, of the Spade Kingdom and big main villain right now, is going to be with Austin. Obviously, it's not going to be with Jack. We could get a cool line with Noct, but that's it. Anyway, other than that, I'm really looking forward to this next chapter, just for some Jack, con uh, I was going to say Jack content, but that, well, I did say it, but that just sounds kind of weird. Just some Jack spotlight. I want to see Jack the Ripper just be a badass. Be that kind of borderline, like, you would think he might be a villain, but I don't want that to ever happen to him because I like him. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll see. It, it's one of those things. It's another week. I thought it, this week we were going to get a chapter, but I, I I think next week is the uh, the return to uh, the you know, normal weekly schedule. I, I always forget that second double week right after the new year. Like, I, I know the one that's uh, between around, like, the, you know, the 20-something to kind of, like, Christmas, those two weeks, and then obviously we got the, the chapter on, like, the third this year. I always forget about the, the two-week one that comes after the new year chapter. But anyway, other than that, though, comment below. Thumbs up the video, but from the like button, subscribe button, check out my other videos. And uh, this is an extra thing. Tell me what, what you really want Jack to get in the next chapter. Because, like I said, Jack Jack is like Mariliona. We He has a base power that's really good. Mariliona can burn magic. Jack's blade can adapt to stuff. They don't have a lot of spells, and even the spells that they've done are very basic ways to improve what they already can do because their, their base magic ability is really good. So, like... It, it, it's really weird to kind of think of that like Jack. Like, Mariliona's just getting, like, be full-body fire coating in the way that it doesn't just have, you know, being able to unleash these giant fire streams when she punches. Something like that for Jack, I think, would be perfect. Some form of sick new blade form or just general combo attack, I think, would be uh, great. But anyway, 13 minutes. Yeah, like I said, I... I I ended up going, I, I rant too much and going, uh, just rabble on. But anyway, other than that, comment up below, thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. But other than that, thank you for everyone, uh, thanks everyone for listening, who's already subscribed. Bye.